Hello, hi, I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome to the Japan vlog! <laughs> And so right now I'm in Seattle. I just arrived and I decided to spend the night in Seattle before my flight because tomorrow morning my flight is at 7 a.m. Like literally so bright and early. I'm probably gonna have to try to get to the airport by like five. And so it's gonna be a really early morning for me and I'm not a morning person. So I don't think tomorrow morning is gonna go very well for me. So the situation is that I have to get a flight from Seattle and then my flight connects in San Francisco. I land in San Francisco around 9.30 and then my flight out of San Francisco is at about like just after 11 in the morning. And then from San Francisco, I do fly directly to Osaka, Japan. And I am so incredibly excited for this trip. I am so nervous. This is actually gonna be my first time ever traveling internationally. Like I've never even been to Canada or Mexico. Like I live in the States. I've never left the United States. And this is also gonna be like my first ever time really traveling alone like this. I mean, earlier this year, I did end up taking a small like short trip to California by myself, but it really didn't feel like that big of a deal because you know I'm originally from California so it really felt like very familiar to me you know like everything felt familiar but this trip I'm just like oh my gosh I'm taking the biggest jump I feel like because you know it's gonna be a lot of new experiences for me and if you are wondering um I am going to Japan as a part of Gavin's Trova trip Gavin my friend Gavin how to train your Gavin on YouTube I'll have him linked down below he's an amazing friend of mine and he's hosting this trip, this Trova trip. And so I decided to go on this trip with him and I'm just so excited because I get to meet Gavin. I get to meet like so many new friends, hopefully. My other friend, Jesse, the YouTuber that you also might know, Jesse on YouTube, like they're also gonna be <laughs> going to Japan. So like overwhelmed and excited about all of the things. I think I'm the most stressed about doing a lot of the like airport stuff on my own, especially since I've never traveled like this internationally by myself before. Like that's the only thing that's really like getting to my anxiety you know like i haven't been sleeping very well because i'm so anxious about it but yeah oh my gosh i can't even believe that i'm here like i can't believe that this is happening got to the airport bright and early at 4 a.m in seattle i was a little nervous because i was by myself and i was a little bit scared of flying by myself but we flew out of seattle at around 7 a.m and then this flight was only about an hour and 45 minutes or so about two hours and then i touched down in san francisco around 9 30 a.m and then flight number two, we took off from San Francisco at around 11 a.m. And this flight was about 10 hours long. Oh my gosh, look at that view of Japan from the airplane. I was immediately in love. And then I touched down September 1st. Um, I landed at about 2.15 in the afternoon in Japan. So I kind of lost a day while traveling. But oh my gosh, dude, this airport was so freaking cute. I don't know why the airport is so pink and just so beautiful, but I was immediately obsessed, immediately falling in love. And shortly after arriving, I was waiting for Gavin for a couple hours at the airport. And then we ended up taking a drive from Osaka to Kyoto, which is the first place where we stayed. And this drive was about two hours long. Look at this view from my hotel room. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's very, you know, back alleyways of Japan, but it's a vibe, you know, it's definitely a vibe. Look how cute this is. And this lady out here just like doing her, doing her laundry. Okay, hi, good morning. Last night was honestly such, <laughs> it was such a hectic rush getting here. I wasn't vlogging too much last night because the airport yesterday, I mean, the airport was so freaking cute, don't get me wrong, but there was a lot of things going on at the airport that I was just like, oh my God. Like, first of all, I did one of the most embarrassing things that has ever happened to me in my life, and I don't even want to talk about it. But basically, I was going up the escalator from the first floor to the second floor of the airport, and I didn't notice that my shoelace was untied on my right shoe. You probably know where I'm going with this. But anyways, so I get to the top of the escalator, and I'm not even kidding, dude, my shoelace got so jammed into this escalator I like nearly tripped because my foot got like stuck, you know? And so I almost tripped. I like pushed my luggage forward and I had like all of my luggage with me. It was such a fucking nightmare. 
and then I'm literally like, oh my god, I'm trying to like yank my foot out of the fucking escalator and it will not come out. Like it was jammed in there so hard. And then the people behind the escalator are like coming up behind me and like, you know, bumping into me with them and their luggage and everything's getting backed up. And I was like, oh my god. So I like literally just kicked off my shoe. Like I kicked it off of my foot because there it was not coming out of there. I'm not even kidding for like 10 minutes, maybe longer. I'm just standing there on the side of the escalator, like trying to find time to like go, but there's so many people coming up the escalator that like I'd never like there was never a good time to like run over there and it was so sweet though okay I just want to say that it was very kind there was at least like three or four guys that were stopping to try and like help me and try to figure out the situation like nobody was just like oh like that's like that's shit for you like no like everybody was trying to help like every single person coming up the escalator like that saw the shoe was there they were all like oh oh like trying to grab it for me and I was like no it's stuck it's stuck like Oh my god, it was such a fucking nightmare, right? And so literally after 10 minutes had passed of me just standing there on the side of the escalator with my shoe off and like trying to figure out what the fuck to do, this really nice guy came up and he's like, I'm gonna get the staff or whatever. And he went to the airport staff and they literally had to get somebody to come and like cut off the shoelace because of how much of it was a problem. And I was like, we were all looking for buttons of like where to stop the escalator or like how to stop it, but we couldn't find that either. Oh my gosh, dude, I have never been more embarrassed in my whole life. Like it was just awful. And so now my shoelace is uh, cut in half and so my my shoe looks so weird because one string is like a lot shorter than the other so like that was a little bit of a embarrassing thing that happened to me yesterday and so then right after that I was like I was sweating so hard because I was so embarrassed okay first of all I was so embarrassed so like I was beat red and then I also like I thought the airport was like really hot like the AC wasn't working very well in there and Japan yesterday holy shit it was so hot and humid outside like you would not believe it's like in the upper 90s Fahrenheit for this whole week so like it's gonna be very hot while I'm here and so I was like dying of heat by the time I got into the bathroom that I like ended up changing my shirt in the airport because I was like I'm gonna die of like heat in here and then you know I just waited for like about two or two and a half hours and then I ended up meeting Gavin which like obviously went so well and I'm sad that I didn't end up recording or vlogging any of it but we were both so fucking tired that we were like not doing our best last night you know so like so I met Gavin we traveled the two hour journey to this hotel and we made it in last night around like 8 p.m. here but for my time, it had felt like it was like 5 a.m. already because like I had been awake for more than 24 hours at this point because I woke up at 4 a.m. to get my initial Uber to the airport in Seattle this morning. So like, yeah, it was kind of the longest traveling day of my life yesterday. Like it took about 25 hours for the entire time for me to get in Seattle to get here. So like it was a very long day. I slept for like almost 12 hours straight because it's about 9 30 a.m right now and i fell asleep at around 9 last night but you know what's funny is that i did end up waking up at like 5 a.m and i could not fall back asleep because you know by that point it was already back to like 1 p.m in seattle so it felt like it was like the afternoon but it was still like early in the morning i don't know dude the jet lag thing is so weird but luckily it didn't affect me too much i woke up at 5 a.m and then i called my sister at like 6 30 a.m because by then it was already like two for her two in the afternoon and so i talked to my sister on the phone for like 20 minutes and then after that i was able to like fall back asleep so much easier anyways i'm here i made it i feel like um i've already been learning so much so far because in this hotel room there's a lot of things that are only in japanese so i've been like huh, like trying to figure out everything last minute like because last night when i first got into this hotel room it was very stuffy in here and i was like oh fuck like i was like how am i gonna work this ac because the whole thing is in japanese so i was literally just pressing some buttons until it seemed like the cooling system worked and I figured it out. And then also like the shower was a little bit hard to figure out because there's a nozzle that like sprays directly onto the floor. And so I, of course I turned on that one and it got all of my clothes wet. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm here in Japan and I'm having a great time so far. I'm just trying to make the best of it, you know? I feel like today is really gonna be exciting because right now I'm gonna go down to meet Gavin for coffee and breakfast and we're just gonna get to chill because the welcome dinner isn't tonight until like 7 p.m. I think. So we kind of have the whole day to just relax and get ready for this trip and get ready to meet everyone else and I'm so excited. Let me give you a quick tour of my little hotel room. All right, so when you walk into the room, this is what you see, but off to the right, right here is this a uh, little nice door and when you open it there is just a singular toilet in there and it's kind of awkward because there's not a lot of like it's kind of claustrophobic because when you walk in here it's like okay here's the toilet and then this door just you know closes and so it's a little bit tight and there's a lot of um options on this toilet here as you can see um they have all of those fancy things that like shoots up at you <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff that's in japanese but luckily these ones do have english under them, so like that's pretty cool. There's also a lot of little buttons on this toilet seat and I don't know what any of the buttons mean, but also this toilet seat is heated 
every time I sit on this thing, I'm like, oh my god, it's so warm. So there's that. Okay, so getting out of the bathroom. We do have a nice full-length mirror just to the right. And then when you come over to this left side, we have the sink, which is nice. There's a mirror here. I actually kind of like having the sink out here, like separate from the rest of the bathroom. I think that's pretty great. And then on this side, see, this is where we have the shower situation, which this shower has been kind of hard to figure out for me because I'm an idiot. And apparently this allows you to like wash your feet or something right here because I flicked this down by accident last night and then water just spilled everywhere onto the floor. So I was like, oh fuck. So you have to push this up to get the water to go up to this thing. <laughs> but then I'm kind of like, fuck, because I need to figure out if I can, okay, yeah, you can kind of turn it like this. Cause I was like, I'm just standing here holding this the whole time I'm showering. Like I don't want to be holding it the entire time. So I guess I can kind of turn it. So it's facing me more. <laughs> that is good to know. And uh, yeah. So it's a pretty nice bathtub actually. Like I think you actually could take a bath in there if you wanted to. On to the next. So then we just come down this hallway right here and then we just have this main little bed area. So there's like a little chair over here that you can't see because I dumped all my luggage and shit on there. But we have a nice little cozy chair right there. We have a little table. I have the rest of my luggage. Like there's not a lot of um, space to walk around in here. But uh, we have a cute little bed. That was surprisingly comfy. I don't know if it was just because I was very tired, but um, I passed out so fast. And then over here on this side, we just have this cute little vanity. Look at that cute little vanity mirror that has its own little like light switch you could turn on. And then we have the TV. And we also have this tiny little fridge right there, which I put all my water bottles in to keep them cold. And yeah, isn't that nice? Like it's, I don't know, it's pretty cute. It's pretty sweet for a little hotel room. And yeah, see this was the situation here with the AC. I somehow figured it out. I know it says cool right here, 19 degrees Celsius, but I also like had no idea what any of these buttons were, but I just kind of messed around with it until I figured it out. So thankfully I've got it to be pretty cool in here now. I also, um, last night we ended up going to 7-Eleven for dinner last night because we were so tired um, that we didn't want to like stop and get food or anything. So I literally just bought some apple slices from 7-Eleven and ate them for dinner last night. But I also got these, look at these, chocolate wafers. Oh, yum, these look like they're gonna be so good. And then I got this thing um, I'm not entirely even sure what this is to be honest, but it just says melon pan and me and Gavin were both looking at this like I have no idea what this is, but it's so soft and squishy that it looks like it's gonna be absolutely incredible So I just wanted to get this This elevator is so small Look at that. And it, look at that. Can you believe we're here? I can't believe it. We're doing no. it. We're both in the same room. No one up. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> can't see you right now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you would never know. I know maybe I should get a Wide shot. Can you believe it? Oh, oh. Nuts. <laughs> doing it. We're just doing the thing. It's so cool. Are we gonna stop at Starbucks? I don't have a little look. I don't I don't even want to get anything yet because I don't really want to carry something. one boot from here, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that'd be so cute to oh, own. What's this? For your eyes only classified. Ooh, what? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so cute. Dude, these are small. 
They feel like smaller. They do feel smaller, yeah. This is so cute. I love I'm obsessed. One piece. <laughs> Gavin found one piece things. We'll I'm be so able happy. To them, but I'm going to get them anyway. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I think I recognize uh, this. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> can you not can you not guess? I know. Is it Tokyo Ghoul or no, which one is close. it? Close. Jujutsu guys. Oh, okay, that's right. Okay, we found blood on the tracks. And they have the next ones here. Oh, 30, 40, even 16. Oh, that one's 16 that you're holding. Wow. <laughs> so they're both blue. Yeah, that, that kind 15, of throw me. That throw me. 16. Wow, I really like that cover. Me 16. too. That's so sick. Oh, I'm so jealous. I want to read these. So me too. So bad. <laughs> what the heck? This is so cool. We found blood on the tracks. It's one of my favorite series. If you don't recognize it, this is the cover. Blood on the tracks. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. She is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow, oh, that's so cool. And I have a vlog for this entire series going up <laughs> on Monday. Yes. <laughs> gotta promote that vlog. Gotta, gotta plug in. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, it's orange. They're so cute. I love orange so much. And they've got all of them. They've got them all. You have a boy love section? Oh my, <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, oh my god. Wow. Wow. If only they had some English options. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah we can read that. <laughs> Bia, we can, we can read that. Oh, I <laughs> wow. Wow, there's a lot. There oh my is gosh. A lot. I didn't realize there was this much. <laughs> They've got sections and sections. Wow. Look at all these, dude. I think this whole ball is BL. And I think that was here, right, baby? Oh, sweet. This is so nice. Wow. Oh, I think there's like, oh, I can see Luke. I can oh. see here, so it's like manga. And the, Ooh. Like maybe anime over there. Yeah. This is so nice. Oh, and there's Kyoto Wi Fi. 24 hours free. Well, if it would link me up to it, that would be great. <laughs> so hot. It's very stuffy. It's very moisture in the air, you know, it's humid, but it's great. It's given moist. Yeah, it's given moist. <laughs> Making my face moist. My face is sunburned and I haven't been in the sun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Dude, do I need a 17 pop socket? Oh That's what God. it is, right? I look right next to it. One piece. It's oh my like, God. It's, it's like, like you a... and me. Yeah. Wow. This is perfect. If only they had BTS, I'd be all over that. <laughs> but I like 17. I only, I only recognized this guy. <laughs> That's so cool. They just sell random pop sockets. Like, they what? must do, yeah. Just like on the side of the road, just in case you need a pop socket of 17. They've yeah. got you. You never know when you're gonna need it. Exactly. There's all kinds of little things here. That's so cute. Oh, spy cute family. Is that? Oh, oh my, what is this? I wish I knew. A spy family oh, like key necklaces, chain? maybe? Yeah, like a necklace. Is it, it's got like a, or maybe oh. a keychain, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Wow, this is so cool. There was a print in there as well. What the? Dude. I, I don't know what's in there. Oh my god, I'm scared. Let's. I, I have to look. Dude. I'm already overwhelmed. Oh my god. This whole room. This whole room is all photo cards. This is nuts. But where is BTS? That's what I want to know. Back here. Oh. I'm like, my backpack's too big. I'm running into um, is that V? Wait, I think that's V. I don't know. Oh my god, oh no! I found him! Oh. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. The driven space. Look at what is this? What is this? Is that signed? I think that's all signed. I know. Is that actually signed or is that like fake? I don't know. Oh my god. Dude. GQ. Oh my god. Like, what? Is this a poster? Like, what is this? She's oh my god. Like <laughs> what the <laughs> Oh my god, are these all posters? I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, RM's on the ceiling. <gasps> Why is RM on the ceiling? <laughs> Dude, these are so cute. Oh my god. <gasps> wow, these. Oh my. Oh, god, wow. So okay, sir. These are both my biases right here. Like, let's go. <laughs> right? Look, put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> literally gonna cry. This section is huge. Oh my god, there's more. <gasps> Dude! Get. Okay, I have to get something from here, right? I have I to. Like, yeah. I like need to. This is not an option. Oh my god, Jungkook! <gasps> that is so cute. Oh my god. Wait, oh my god, these are all Jungkook. <laughs> I know, right? This photo shoot is so extra. Oh my god, homie. Oh, is it, oh, is it cute <gasps> to get 
Yeah, yeah they're, they're like so? pickets, so you hold them at the concert and like oh, okay. <laughs> have their face on it. Oh my god, these little photo card packets. <gasps> oh my god, this is bad, dude. This is so bad. <laughs> Get me out of here. Baby. I do like the look of that. I know. Yeah, that man is beautiful. He is. Very beautiful. Oh. Look at all of these. Oh my god. Wow. We've made it to bookstore number two. Number two. This one's called Animate. Like, how cute is that? It's so cute. And One Piece! <laughs> the OG. The number one. Yeah. Yes. Wow, look at this. Oh my god. So, wow. There's so many so, options. So long shape. I know. Look at all this cute Spy Family stuff. I don't know. Yet. I know. <laughs> There's a Wendy's. How cute. So, do we go this way? Or this way. Go. Let's, let's go this way actually. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah. Sweet. This Wendy's looks fancy with its fancy doors. I know you try it. <laughs> I would no. like to try it. I can't believe you don't have Wendy's. That means you've never had a frosty freeze. What is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. We are here at the third bookstore that we found. There's more Spy Family. Spy Family is very popular. It's amazing. Look at this gorgeous view. From my room right now as the sun's starting to go down hi i am back at the hotel from an amazing day out with gavin we ended up going to three different bookstores that had manga we were trying to find to see if any of the stores had like any english manga available but all three of them only had japanese manga which was fine and it was kind of expected but i did end up getting spy family volume one in japanese because i was like I have to, right? Like, I have to own this because Spy Family is like one of my favorite series and I thought it'd be so cool to own at least one of the Japanese mangas of Spy Family. So I did that and it's so cool. I think what's cool about these mangas is how small these are. Like, I don't know if you can tell how small this is, but it's a lot smaller than the manga that I read in the States, like size-wise. Like, this is so much smaller and it's cool because it actually comes with a cover on it. And then the actual manga is like... It has like this white cover, which is just so cool. And there's like this thing for Twilight's character on the back. I don't know. It's just, it's cool because it looks kind of different than the one that I have anyways. Oh my gosh, I went into that K-pop store. Holy shit. I was so overwhelmed. I could have really spent a lot in there, but that place that we went to was cash only. And I don't have that much yen, you know, cash on me right now. So I was like, okay, control yourself. But I did end up getting a few different BTS like photo cards and things. I also, you know, like my, my, one of my closest friends, Brittany, she's also, um, she's a Jungkook bias. So I did have to get her something for Jungkook, but then I got a few different Yoongi things because I'm a Yoongi girl and um, it was amazing. It was so much fun. Like I could have spent hours in that store. Oh my God, there was so many photo cards. Like I've never seen anything like it. So yeah, now um, we are back at the hotel. It was kind of nice because me and Gavin just got to spend most of the day just kind of like exploring on our own in this area. It's really nice because right where we're staying in Kyoto, there's like a lot of like city, there's like restaurants and stores like literally everywhere. So we were just kind of like walking around, checking out the area. And there's so much to do here. Like, I'm so amazed because for some reason I thought Kyoto was going to be more like laid back and kind of like suburban, but it's very like city vibes throughout this whole area. So I really love that. And it was just such a nice day. We had coffee in the morning and then we ended up getting Starbucks in the afternoon. We just wanted to get Starbucks because Gavin hasn't even had his first pumpkin spice latte of the season yet. So we had to make that happen. We're just getting ready for the welcome dinner. So tonight um, we're going to be going to the welcome dinner with like the whole Trova trip group. So we're going to be meeting everyone, which is going to be so great. And we're going to be having this like really nice dinner. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna take a shower and change because I don't want to be wearing like the gross clothes that I've been wearing all day today, but I'm so excited I feel like this is really gonna like kick off the energy of the trip because we're gonna meet everyone tonight and It's gonna be so much fun It's now in summer So you see uh, glasses uh, is the, the way I think we're using glasses makes us cool because it reminds us of, uh, My name is Tomi Kaesan Tomi Kaesan Let's go there guys now the first song is named Yu Gure, it's like a dusk, dusk in Japanese. <laughs> Must 
It is the morning of my third day in Japan. Last night, um, we had the welcome dinner, which was very interesting. I mean, everyone in our group is so freaking nice. I absolutely adore everyone that's in this group trip. I just think everybody is so freaking sweet and so freaking nice. But the thing that was interesting about the traditional Japanese dinner is that it was <laughs> basically like six to nine different rounds of raw fish. And like, I am not really a fish or seafood kind of person. Like, I don't really enjoy it. And it seemed like even a lot of the people that do like fish in our group were struggling a little bit because it was like so much raw fish. And all the dinner portions were like really small. Like it was only like slivers of like everything basically. But um, it was a really interesting experience. I actually had this woman come in as well and she performed this like traditional Japanese dance, which was also really cool. And we got to take pictures with her. And it was just a really nice night. We even got to go out to, they had this little garden in the back of the restaurant where you can put on slippers and go to the garden. I ended up having kind of an early night. Well, we got back to our hotel a little bit late. It was already like 11 o'clock at night by the time we got back to the hotel. And then I crashed pretty early, just after midnight. 7 a.m., bright and early on the next day, we're getting ready to do a bunch of walking tours today. And we're going to see a bunch of different shrines and temples. And so I'm really excited, but I'm only a little bit nervous because it's supposed to be really hot today. Like today, it's supposed to be 96 degrees Fahrenheit and it's very humid here. So it feels like even hotter than that. And we're gonna be spending most of the day outside so like I'm trying to you know stay hydrated I put on a ton of sunscreen but I'm just like oh my gosh like I don't know how this is gonna go today so we'll just have to see hopefully it's not too miserable in the heat but yeah I'm gonna go meet everyone downstairs for breakfast now and I'm so excited Look who it is. In Japan. my face is going in Japan. I showed up unlike my father yes oh my god we're here we have to take Sweating pictures where we go. Like, Well, we were telling Gavin this, we have to take pictures, yeah. like a million, because yeah. at the end of the day, we're yeah. only gonna like three out of the 3,000. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So that's the real reason So we have why. to take at least a thousand. Exactly. <laughs> Scientifically, we're mm -hmm. at, well, us and Gavin are at one. Oh shit, I shouldn't play this game with you, because you guys have been together for a full day. Yeah. Amazing. Never mind. Amazing. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll come back. <laughs> So pretty. We made you look it. legit with your Hi, Jesse. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You got your little tripod. I do. I yeah. have to. I, I did. It's because literally because I'm sweating so much. It's... No, it's... Yeah. I'm like it's gonna slip out of my hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you brought? Oh yeah. That's so pretty. Did you put a dragonfly in oh. yours? Did I? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It like when you were pointing, it was like flying. Oh no! <laughs> no, it's cute. Oh, cute. Okay. <laughs> oh Always have a two gas in a temple. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no so It took me a second, yeah. now it clicks. <laughs> so what do you think about the... <laughs> <laughs> we... Okay, this is temple dedicated to the goddess of mercy. Canon of the sun. I don't want to go by that, but I tend to go. That's the name! So here! <laughs> are you part of the, like, the video? Uh, we are, yeah. We, um, we have a YouTube. That's how we. Yes, please. Picture. Earlier. <laughs> Uh, sorry, they don't have any the English one, just Japanese one. I can translate for you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, that would be. What is this? What is my fortune? Google Translate. Excellent. Cute. I have no idea. 
Daji? I don't know what Daji means. Uh, Knockout goals. Oh, okay. I'm afraid. Oh no, that sounds bad. Something wrong. I'm scared. Oh, okay. So I have oh. to give it back. I kind of feel like that's oh, not. Dig a stone and meet once in a while. I saw the gold for the first time after singing Knockout Gold. Oh, cool. I don't know what that would be a good yeah. place. Yeah, I kind of want to get like a, a photo of the like, nature. Like, like, with something cool in the background. Maybe. Moment. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are the moment. <laughs> you are. Pierce. It was a Pierce. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing it's like the breeze picked up a little, I think that helped. This was one of my favorite meals that I had while I was there. It's just pork with rice and some scrambled eggs kind of stuff on top. Cross legged. Oh, I love that. Cross legged. <laughs> She's so cute. Please go that carpet, a red carpet. Well, you don't worry, you don't have to stay to choose the this was a really cool ceremony that we got to go to. What we're doing is watching a tea master as she makes tea for the Buddha, and she's making a green tea, like a matcha, which was really fun and really interesting to learn. And then shortly after, she invited Gavin up to try making his own tea, which was also really fun and really entertaining to watch. <laughs> uh, there's one of the events to give the, uh, to uh, for the offering for the uh, god. Now you have a god. When you enshrine, there's a god. Uh, not a Buddhist, uh, Buddha. And then this is one of the places where they conduct a musical event. Mm. the morning of day three in Japan. Yesterday was absolutely incredible. I crashed so hard at the end of the night, but yesterday was so freaking beautiful. Like yesterday honestly just felt like it was something out of a movie or like out of a magazine. We got to go to one of the most gorgeous temples that I've ever freaking seen in my life in Kyoto. And then shortly after that, we just took this walk through this like little village. We went to this shrine. We went to this little like local spot for lunch and I got this really good dish that had pork in it and then it had eggs and rice. And the pork was so good. It literally just fell apart on your tongue. It was so freaking good. Like I've honestly never had a dish like that. That felt like a really like local kind of authentic Japanese dish. Like that's exactly what I was hoping for to eat something like that here. It was so good. After that, we also did this really cool tea ceremony with a tea master. And even though like I'm not a really big, uh, you know, tea drinker myself, I'm definitely more of a coffee person. But we got to see, you know, how the tea master makes this green matcha tea. It was really cool and really interesting to learn. And then we also got to try it and it was so strong. Oh my gosh, it was like the strongest green tea I think I've ever tried. Like it was so cool because she had Gavin come up and learn how to make the tea as well. And then he got to serve it to Jesse, which was really cool. But it was just such an amazing experience last night. And honestly, yesterday it was so hot outside, you know, it was uh, 96 degrees in Fahrenheit for like almost all of the day. <laughs> 
and it was humid, you know, so I, I don't even know what the temperature felt like, but it felt even hotter to me than 96 degrees. Like, we were all dying. Like, I don't think I've ever sweat like that in my freaking life. Like, I was dripping. I felt disgusting. Um, and we were outside pretty much all day because we left the hotel at, like, 9 a.m. yesterday and then getting back to the hotel at, like, 5.30 at night. So we were walking outside for hours yesterday and it was kind of brutal. I'm not gonna lie. Like, as soon as I got back uh, to the hotel here, I took a shower and I, like, washed my hair and washed my whole body and it was, like, one of the best showers of my life because I felt disgusting. But it was amazing. It was, like, one of the best days that I've had here in Japan so far. I feel like I say that about every day because every day has been so amazing here. I was talking about this um, with Jesse yesterday when I met them, but we were walking through the streets and I was like, I've never felt so safe in my life walking through a city. Like, it's actually unreal. <laughs> it's just, it just feels so amazing here. Like, everybody's so lovely. Like, every person that I've come across is just so helpful and like considerate and respectful it's just it's not like anything that i've ever experienced in my life before in america and it's just it feels like a whole different world you know but anyways yeah last night i ended up crashing so hard you know we got back to the hotel at like 5 30 and then i literally just i went down to the 7-eleven and i got like a donut and some apple slices and i just had a little bit of a girl dinner and then i went to bed because i was so tired i've been sleeping like really early here and waking up super early like which is so unlike me but i don't know if it's because of the like time change or the jet lag or whatever it is but i'm not having too many issues waking up early in the morning and i think it also might be due to how exhausted i am from the previous day because last night i went to bed at like 9 30 and then you know right now it's already 7 30 i'm already awake i'm ready to go uh we're leaving the hotel today at around 9 or like 8 45 a.m and today we're going to nara which i'm also so excited about we're gonna do like the deer thing today like we're gonna meet the deer and do like the deer stroll i'm so excited like this is one of the days that i'm most excited for we're gonna be catching a train to nara oh my god i can't wait it's gonna be so great also i finally got the uh, pocket wi-fi delivered yesterday it's really cool you can just order it online and then it gets delivered to your hotel and this little wi-fi is just a little wi-fi box and i just carry this around in my purse and it gives me like wi-fi connection everywhere that i go it is honestly such a game changer because you know the connection the wi-fi connection at our hotel just isn't very good like it doesn't let me like watch youtube videos or i can't really like stream anything um but it gets the job done enough i guess but i was like i need wi-fi like i literally need this so this is amazing highly recommend if you're traveling to japan to get a little pocket wi-fi it's actually like really affordable in my opinion and i can just carry this on my person all day and i get connected everywhere it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> How was yours? Oh, it, it's nice. It's otatsu butter. It's uh, exclusive to Japan. Exclusive to Japan. Sweet potato. Sweet, oh, potato. sweet potato in coffee. And you can taste it. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm basic and I got an ice caramel macchiato. <laughs> it's very small and cute. Oh, I see. You're the most basic person I know. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But, and her basic one of our favorite things is ice cream. Uh, you these trains are so cute. Yeah, <laughs> So excited. We're gonna we're here for deer. Yeah, we're here for the deer. It's crazy how many I'm gonna get past you. <laughs> right past you in the window. <laughs> oh there we go. It came up. There is one. There you go. Oh nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, so cute. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, I have to do it. I'm sorry. I can't. Open the package before going into yeah, the air. Yeah. 
That's what we learned. <laughs> <laughs> My they just nipped at my yeah. butt. Yeah. No. I mean, it's yummy. But. <laughs> oh my god. You guys saw how I was with the tape. Oh my god. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh my gosh, look at that one. That one's a different one. You kind of scared us. I don't like you. <laughs> Messenger of, of the dog, yes. Yeah. 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 Mm. These are massive. What did you get again? I got a caramel frap. And we, <laughs> okay, we got the otatsu butter, which is like sweet potato flavored. Yeah, and we didn't know that? that it has like crunchies in it. Oh. It's delicious. Oh, good. Like it's not too sweet potato y, even though that's not a thing. Yeah. But, okay, lighting. Awesome. <laughs> I know the lighting's great here. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> we've had bad lighting yeah, all we've day. Yeah, we've had bad lighting all day. So. It's just been a struggle, but. The stress that you feel yeah. when you're like filming something yeah. and then the lighting's not good and yeah. you're like, we want like, them to are, have the best. Yeah, like, what are we supposed to do? Like, what, the heck? <laughs> what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Starbucks is so beautiful. Like, look at this view that we have right now. Like, are you serious? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is stunning. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, hi. Oh my god. Oh, a lick on it. Hi. Hi. I know it's a bit on the short side. Oh my god, they're precious. I can't. Wow. This is 800 years old. We were. It's larger than life. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. I, I bet. I just love Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh my god. Hi. Oh my god. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh my god. Wow. Right, but this is okay. Sometimes this is this narrow. We just go over. Yeah. Okay. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. Oh no. So do back, I have bad luck yeah. now? Oh no. <laughs> no, no. Just go over easy. Okay. Just step down. Step on, the, on that level. Yeah, I, I put my foot on it. Oh, and that's okay. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. That is so, so cool. So it is one, uh, two guys. This though, where it's the same temperature inside and outside. Oh. That happens sometimes in spring and sometimes in fall. Good times, good times. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Later it might be mini pigs. There's another screen box. Yeah. 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 Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> I'm so cute! You are so cute! <laughs> photo everyone? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks. My gosh.
it's right. We haven't done that yet. <laughs> Some new moments. It's bowing to you. Oh my god! Hi! Yes! <laughs> She's bowing. got great good Hi. fortune. Oh, yeah. hello! Like, wait, I'm being a good dear. Oh. Wow. Information from the company, local investing business. That is wild. <laughs> yeah, like this is my moment. This is my moment. Yes. Hi! Hi! Oh my god, I'm just chilling. Hi! Hi! I don't have anything, I'm sorry. The deer love you. I'm sorry. Really cute. I don't have anything. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I got a Hi. There. Oh my god. Hi. I'm so sorry I don't have food. But you're so cute. You're so beautiful. Yeah. You are. Sorry. He's like, sorry. I know. He's like, food or get out of here. I have no food. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No food. I'm sorry. You came up to the wrong group my friend. Yeah. <laughs> we're very selfish. We are so selfish cute, people. Though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting in that bag. <laughs> You're angry. You're angry. Oh, oh my god. I would. I would. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Yeah. Oh. That's gonna hit though. Yeah, I agree. It's like such a big we need a toast. We need to tell a toast to the Oscars. Oh, that's so cute. Mm. That is 100% like, bitch, you can Hi. eat. Yeah. I'm not gonna Hello. Say. I don't have anything. They're gonna be following Cassie. <laughs> Do it again. Gavin is a twat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I know. Oh, that was cool. Wow, look at this sunset from my hotel room tonight. Hello, hi, it is the morning of day four. Yesterday ended up being maybe my favorite day in Japan so far. I mean, going to Nara and seeing the deer. The deer honestly just like have been the highlight of my whole trip so far, I think. Like seeing these deer bow to us to get food. Like it was literally the cutest thing ever. And I just love how in this city, there are just deer everywhere. Like there were deer just like next to the streets. There were deer in the park. There were deer sitting in the temple, like near the temple. It was just so beautiful. And I also think that the second temple that we went to in the afternoon yesterday, that one was my favorite that, that I think that we've seen so far because like the Buddha that was in that temple was literally so huge. And like that temple was so breathtaking. It was like larger than life. It really felt like something out of a movie and that was the temple that you like needed to get tickets specifically to go in just to see it. And it was incredible. They also had like, there was this really big uh, tree that was like in the temple that had this little hole at the bottom of the tree. And it said that if you can fit through the hole, then it's like meant to bring you good luck. So there were some people in our group, you know, like trying to go through the bottom of this tree at the bottom and it was really cool. But I was like, oh my gosh, I am not doing that. Like you have to be so small and tiny to fit through that tiny little hole and I am waiting 
way too claustrophobic because like I'm terrified of getting stuck like that's my worst nightmare actually but yeah anyways um it's the morning of day four last night I crashed so hard I I don't know why I was so tired yesterday because my feet have been killing me you know like my feet have been absolutely killing me because we've been you know pretty much walking around on our feet for like long you know like eight to nine hour days with like little to no breaks of sitting i mean yesterday we did get the train ride that was about an hour each way so luckily i did get some time to sit down but i don't think my feet have even recovered from like the first days walking you know of like eight to nine hours of walking so my feet are still like so so much in pain today today is the first day that i am like struggling to wake up like i'm still feeling so exhausted from the previous day's activity so i'm hoping that it doesn't um affect me too much today and that i can just uh, you know still like be full of energy but yeah today is the first day that i'm really starting to feel like how exhausted i am but i'm so um just so grateful to be here and I feel like every day that I'm in Japan, I'm just falling in love with Japan more and more and I know that it's gonna be really hard for me to leave actually. I just keep thinking about how hard it's gonna be to leave here. I'm just trying to like take in every moment, you know, because I really know that this is the trip of a lifetime and that I've never experienced anything like this and everything is new. And you know, yesterday when we were walking through, there was like a beautiful little park where you can just walk through there's so many trees and there's just deer everywhere and while we were walking i was just like taking time to like absorb the feeling of like wow i'm literally here right now like i'm doing this and i was almost gonna cry like it was just such a such a moment of like wow this is actually happening i'm actually here and i'm trying to like be more in the moment in these things you know but yeah i'm so excited let's get ready for day four i can't wait to see all of the new adventures that today brings me. Okay, let me introduce you. Today we have a private a bus. Uh, driver's Woo! name is Ueda-san. Please give him a big hand. Then we will go back to the hotel. So we expect him to have an occasional rain. Yes. Have the most fun. Look at the king. Have so much fun. Okay, I'm gonna take some photos for you. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Is your guy really nice? Yeah, he was. He was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Uh, 
I did, I did. Cute. Oh, oh, there it is. Yum. <laughs> I know, you're just gonna go for it. <laughs> Hi, it's like just after five o'clock. I am back in the hotel room and I am so tired. It has been the longest day. It is still so hot outside, but it has been such an incredible day. I just went and got um, a crepe with Gavin and with May. And uh, the crepe spot, it's so amazing. It has strawberries in it, it's Nutella, there's whipped cream in here. And then on the way back to the hotel, we also hit up the coffee spot. There's a coffee spot right across the street called Tully's, and that's where me and Gavin went to on the first day that we were here. And it's quickly become a favorite spot, um, so I wanted to get a quick iced coffee just, you know, in the afternoon. Tonight, our whole group is going to be doing karaoke. They rented out a karaoke room that we're going to be all participating in. I think it's going to be so much fun, you know, because in Japan and in some of these like Asian countries, they, uh, it's not like a typical karaoke kind of thing. It's like they rent out a whole room for like a group of people. And so you get kind of like a private karaoke party kind of thing, you know, so it's kind of cool. So I really do want to be able to experience that while I'm here. I don't know if I'm going to be up for all of the activities tomorrow. I honestly might just like, take a day to like explore this little area right by our hotel because there are so many really cute little unique stores and little cute eating spots like right next to our hotel like we really are just like right in the middle of everything and I'm, I've just been feeling a little bit exhausted and burnt out so I might have to take a day where I just like chill in a local cafe and read and just kind of do my own thing what better video to watch while eating my dinner <laughs> Like this. Yeah. Yeah. Not like this. Yeah. Karaoke? We've only ever done like group for the pros. Karaoke? Yeah. So you guys will stop. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good group number. I like this. I love 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 this. It's like 10 o'clock at night and I just got back home from doing the karaoke night and it was genuinely so much fun. Like I'm so glad that I ended up going because right before the karaoke night, like probably like an hour before, I started to get the weirdest like motion sickness. Like I felt like the room was like spinning and I don't know if it was because of the boat that we were on today. I don't know if it was because of the bus ride home. Like the bus ride home was about like 20 minutes to 30 minutes. But I was taking my, you know, Dremamine, like my motion sickness medication, and um, I just, I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, I was almost thinking of not going to the karaoke because I wasn't really feeling that well. And then when we got into the karaoke room, I was a little bit nervous because the room was kind of small, and I was just, 
I was feeling a little bit claustrophobic and like they had this mirror ball spinning on the top of the room and it made it feel like the room was like spinning a little bit. So I was getting a little stressed out because I was like, oh my God, like I'm just not feeling well. But then luckily, um, once we started like, you know, singing songs and like having a good time, uh, I feel like my medication started to like kick in and it started to feel a lot better like I started to feel a lot better which was great and it was so much fun to just do karaoke with everyone I feel like all of the songs were so much fun and I love and I just adore how whenever a Taylor Swift song came on everyone in the group was like handing me the microphone it was so cute and we we did three Taylor Swift songs um and I only requested one of them so two other people in the group had also requested Taylor Swift songs it wasn't just me okay I wasn't the only Swifty in the room but the first one we did was Antihero and then we did You Need to Calm Down and Cruel Summer it was so much fun those were such good songs to do for karaoke but oh my god it is so hard to actually sing cruel summer like that chorus it, it goes so high but yeah oh my god it was such a fun night i'm so glad that i went hello good morning it is the morning of september 6th and today i decided to take the day off from all of the activities just because of how burnt out that i've been and i also i was looking at the list of activities today and i don't really think it's anything that i'm like dying to do today but anyways it's just after 9 a.m right now i'm still like waking up pretty early i still woke up at like 7 30 and i can't see i couldn't fall back asleep so i just decided to get up i think i am gonna try to make a uh, breakfast at the hotel just so i can have something to eat because breakfast at the hotel is included here so it's like nice to like not have to pay for something you know so i think i'm gonna go and do that and then i don't know it's actually supposed to rain today so i put on my little rain jacket even though it is still pretty warm it's still like 85 degrees fahrenheit out so it's not exactly like a cool you know nice day but it does say that there's a high chance of rain today so i think that would be something that's kind of cool to experience and i think the plan for today is literally just to relax as much as possible it's the last day here in kyoto and so i would really love to just you know get the chance to explore this area right by the hotel i would love to you know maybe sit in a cafe and read and there's just a whole bunch of stuff like that that i would like to do today so yeah let's go and get breakfast and start with that and then we'll see where the day takes us <laughs> Gosh, there's so many things. So well. oh. <laughs> How cute are these? I'm getting these. I don't care. How cute. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You get sick just to use them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already annoying and I've only found one thing. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Look at this. Are you freaking kidding me? <gasps> I'm gonna cry. Are you gonna make it? No, I'm not. Sur I'm not gonna survive this. Oh my god. <gasps> Are you serious? <gasps> I'm gonna. There's just a whole wall of photo cart, and I'm like, how do I? Oh no, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Look at this. That's my man right there. <laughs> That's my man. That's my other man. <laughs> oh my god, these are so cute. <gasps> that photo card of Hobie. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <gasps> can you believe this? Like, can you actually believe this? <laughs> There's so many, so many albums. <gasps> I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. Like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Just break the whole stand. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. much better. Wow. 
That is so much better. Look at that camera. That's sick. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh my god, I'm keep holding it like that. I'm gonna take a photo. <laughs> Good. Wow, it comes in real crispy on that one. Yeah, scrunchy. I'm so I can't believe you actually almost got that one. I did. <laughs> and a cool little pop socket. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Look at that. It's all about the cool? angle. So fucking oh nice. Thanks to Jesse. Oh Very sweet. Oh, we're the blurry oh, ghost we're of Jesse. Oh, we're getting closer. <laughs> hey. Thanks to Jesse for the gifts. So kind. You are the gift. Oh my God, the gift. You've already on. given us the gift of Gabby. Stop. <laughs> I'm getting up goosebumps. Goosebumps. Bugs. Yeah, cool and the best part about it is this one is annotated. Annotated. By Jesse themselves. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Look, look at, that. at that. I don't know what this says yet, but I'm excited to say it. And you're not going to find out either, bitches. <laughs> no. Most of them are it, very mystery. Oh, you should look that. at the dedication, though. Oh my god. Oh god. <gasps> oh. We're on the way to the arcade. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh my god. Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2, what a blast from the past. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, oh, no. She's oh, got no. it, she's got it. She knows. Da -da. Oh, Oh, this is a cool angle. <laughs> I'm like, so excited about it. Oh, this is a rhythm. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, damn, damn. Yay. It's about 7.30 in the morning right now. And last night was so much fun. I loved just kind of getting the day to, you know, explore this area of Kyoto with Jesse. It was so much fun. We ended up finding so many cool little spots. I'm so glad that I got to go to Tower Records that had all of the like K-pop albums and like the K-pop section. There was manga. There was like so many cool little things. I got a bunch of snacks from like this food section that I wanted to bring home to my family so that we can try them all. And um, it was just a really, really great day yesterday. And it was so cool because it was like raining on and off all day. So it was kind of cool to get to experience the rain in Japan. It's very like island kind of rain, you know, it's very like misty. And um, now we're up bright and early at 7.30 a.m. because we are leaving for Osaka today. So we are leaving Kyoto which I am honestly kind of sad to be leaving Kyoto just because I've been loving it here 
so freaking much um but tonight is our only night in osaka we only get one night in osaka which is also kind of a bummer like i kind of wish we had at least two nights in osaka just because osaka looks like it's going to be so incredible and i wish we got a little bit more time there you know because we only stay in osaka tonight and then we fly out tomorrow so it's like we only really get tonight but today's schedule is going to be absolutely packed like i don't even know how we're going to be fitting in all of the things that we're supposed to be doing today but i am so excited like honestly today is one of my most anticipated days of the whole trip <laughs> So excited! We're at the castle! Dude, what the heck? This is so beautiful. I just... I just this weather can't. is so much better. I know, it's like fall today. I know, right? It's nice! It's stunning. I was. I want to take a photo there. Wow, yeah, honestly? Yes. That's the spot. So pretty! I don't like the first one where everyone's telling a theory. It's never intimidating for me because I've been reading it for 20 years. Stunning. Which makes me feel very beautiful. So we're gonna take, um, there's a seven, sorry, eight stories, a building, but there's no uh, floor for six floors. Six floors. Uh -huh. So you take an elevator to the fifth floor, and then you will walk to the uh, top, uh, eighth floor. And then you come down by stairs, which meaning it's good. Unless you like, you don't mind to use the elevator. That they like go to stay with for a month. And Perona and Zora are basically just like siblings. <laughs> I like that idea. Oh.
I love it here. I could be here all day. Yeah, I don't know about yeah. this glass. No, we've been there. Glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know what you mean. This is a little scary. <laughs> Just jump on it. No way. Jump on it. Heck no. Heck no. <laughs> Look at this. It's Just a little The orange soda. Oh. Orange soda float. I know, that's so cute on the top. Right, do you want to have a little look uh, at the... A little bear. A little bear. <laughs> so, look, can't beat the view, huh? Oh, mine's a little fucked up. <laughs> what? Is this the bathroom? In here? Are you serious? What? Like, huh? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Tully's again. Apparently this is the <laughs> coffee shop to be in Japan because it's fantastic and I've had it four times. Four ain't times! That, ain't that the truth? She has a problem. I have a problem. I've had this four times. Can they bring Tully's coffee to America? Request. <laughs> if they don't, maybe they do. I don't know. They might have something similar. Mm-hmm. This is good. This is a salty iced caramel um, latte. I think it's a latte. It sounds like you could get that in other places. Yeah, it, it does. It does. So, we're just chilling now. Uh, Feels so good to sit down. So cool. Okay, hello. It's about six o'clock at night and I just made it to the hotel in Osaka. And I'm honestly so sad that tonight is the last night and that we only get to spend one night here because this hotel room is incredibly cute. And today was just such an incredible day in Osaka because we got to see the Osaka castle, which is something that I've been looking forward to this entire trip. And it was just as beautiful as I imagined it to be. I also love that we got to go to, you know, the top of the castle and we had just the most gorgeous views of Osaka today. We ended up going to this tower. I can't recall what the name of the tower was, but we went to the 60th floor, the observation deck, and we just got shot up in this elevator and we went all the way to the top and honestly like the views like the city views from the 60th floor like that just made my whole day like that made the whole trip there's something about seeing the city from that high up it's just breathtaking like it is absolutely beautiful and it just makes me so goddamn happy i am probably going to shower and change because we're going to be getting ready to leave for the farewell dinner but anyways let me show you this room because it is so cute all right so walking in we have a view like this so right off to the right here we have the bathroom which this is actually more of like a typical kind of bathroom that I, I guess I would expect in a hotel like the toilet isn't so it's not by itself you know it's not too claustrophobic in here and we have this really nice sink and a big mirror which is pretty cool and then you come over here and there's a whole separate room. So we do have the same kind of thing where it's a shower room, which I really do love these now because I love that like you have, you know, the faucet or like the, the water comes from up here, but it's nice because you can get this whole floor wet, you know, because it's a separate room. So I actually love having the whole shower room. I think it's fantastic. Toilets in Japan are just freaking incredible. Like what? Like I just, I love having all of these options and the toilets are just so freaking nice here. Like how am I supposed to go back to America into the regular toilets after this? We turn into the room and like, look at how cute and cozy this is. Okay, I love this blue blue background i just think it's absolutely stunning we have four pillows so like we have more pillows here than the last hotel so that's also a win and then we have this cute little area where we have the tv and then look at this like oh this whole setup is so cute and then oh my god i'm obsessed dude look at this little reading nook corner are you serious with this little table <gasps> It really makes me wish that I had more time tonight to just kind of cuddle in here and read my book and just chill. Like, how cute is this? I'm definitely going to be sitting over here later tonight, like you can already imagine. And then out here we have the window. So 
this is what the view is looking like the sun is just starting to go down so it's kind of like golden hour and i'm only on the third floor so i'm not very high up as opposed to last time but look at that oh my god look at how stunning that is oh my god i just noticed all of that to the left <gasps> how beautiful wow that is all lit up right there i don't know what that is but it's so stunning <laughs> It's so gorgeous here. Last I'm night. <laughs> this nightlife is beautiful. It really is. Like, I'm in love with Osaka. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? It's our last night. How are we supposed to be the same? <laughs> I know, I'm not going to be the same after this. I just know. Oh my gosh. It's just so beautiful. Yeah, yeah you are. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Look at that. I might have some like, fruity though. Cute. Say so it's been an incredible week with everyone here. Honestly, can't believe was it Sunday when we had our first day, like official first day, mm -hmm. and it's now Thursday, right? I don't. Friday. Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Okay, time, time <laughs> Thursday. Yeah. yeah. So we've all kind of lost track of time. <laughs> but it's been wonderful, honestly, and I couldn't have asked for a much better group of people to share this experience with. It was my first time in Japan, it was a lot of y'all's first time in Japan, if not everyone's first time in Japan, um, but no, I, I, it means the world to me that you all even give me the time of day. So thank you so much everyone, and that was just it, that was intentional. And honestly, I hope you all have an amazing night as well, and I love you all so much, okay? I love you all so much. Thank you, thank you. Hey, more raw fish. I'm gonna keep the, the sound in. I'm gonna keep the sound in. So all you're gonna hear is you'll say, I'm gonna, I think we're gonna have to try. We're gonna have to try. It's an actual fish. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do with this. I don't even know what to do with this. Do you know what to do with this? I don't know what to do with this. I don't know about this one, lads. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm looking into its eyes. I like head. Yeah. I do like head. Literally looking into its eyes. No, I like giving my head. What? No. It is pretty. It's very pretty. It's almost as pretty as you. She goes. That's what I mean. Yeah. I'm like, I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I think it's prettier here. Yeah. I know I'm sorry, but it's loud, so I want to shut up. That's because you're not invited. No, I'm sorry. Exclusive. Aww. JK. Okay, so now it's the Edinburgh. Yeah. How cool. Live street music. <laughs> Wow. 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 Bye school. Okay, everybody. Yeah, most, like, Let's go. Look at this. this. Wow. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Good morning, Osaka. Good morning. I do love this view in the morning. Isn't it beautiful? I love this uh, little city vibe. What's going on over there? Hello, hello. It is the last morning in Osaka. I can't believe that I'm gonna be leaving Japan in a few hours. Like, I feel like I'm not ready to leave. I feel like, you know, we just got here to Osaka like literally last night and I'm like, <laughs> I haven't had any time to, you know, explore this city yet. I feel like I need to come back because I feel like I haven't had enough time here and I'm just really sad to be leaving today. But as of right now, it's just after 8 a.m. You know, I even tried, I tried to sleep in today. 
Um, but I've been waking up so early and I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's the jet lag or I don't know if I'm just like a new person here in Japan because I've been waking up every day around like 6 45 a.m. or like 7 and so I've been up for like a little over an hour now. I called my sister earlier this morning and we talked for like 20 minutes and so I don't know I've been quite the morning person. I did fall asleep around like just a little bit past midnight last night so I didn't sleep for too long. I only got I got like less than six hours of sleep last night but I'm feeling okay and you know my flight today does I don't leave Osaka tonight until like 4 50 in the afternoon so I do have so many hours until my flight but we are getting the transport to the airport around like 12 15 in the afternoon today because that's just the way that it worked out with Trova trip we could only do one of two transfers and this time ended up working okay for me so I'm gonna be leaving for the airport at 12 15 I'm like so sad I feel I have that feeling like I'm just gonna be leaving my heart in Osaka when I leave today and I'm like not ready to leave. Like I'm honestly thinking in my head, like how soon <laughs> is it realistic that I could come back here, you know? <laughs> well, it's not goodbye forever. Mm -hmm. It's goodbye for now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're in the airport, it's sad. <laughs> Big sad. Got me in. <laughs> Big sad. It's okay. It's okay. Bye for now. <laughs> we meet again soon. Yes. Yeah. We will. Yes. Don't cry or I'll cry. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Are you kidding me? I'm Pulse. so glad Anytime. we did this. Anytime. You heard it here. Come back. Anytime. Look for a change in color for an exit sign to indicate that you've reached an exit. We've all carry on that time. Hello, how's it going? I have made it home safely from Japan. Oh my gosh, that last day, it was kind of brutal. Like the travel day on the way home kind of took it all out of me. Because if you can't hear from my voice, I'm feeling kind of sick and like a little bit under the weather ever since getting home. And I think it's mostly because I had, you know, the longest travel day of my life coming home because I ended up flying out from Osaka at like, you know, four o'clock that afternoon. But you know, do keep in mind that I had been awake since 7 a.m. that morning. And then the flight from Osaka to San Francisco was about 10 hours long. And for some reason, I was not able to sleep on that flight at all, even though I do take Dramamine for my motion sickness. And usually that makes you tired enough that you can fall asleep and I was really tired but for some reason I could not sleep the entire time but then I ended up landing in San Francisco at 11 in the morning pacific time but for that time it had already felt like about 2 in the morning for me with Japan time so then I had a 5 hour layover in San Francisco which was also pretty rough I didn't even get on my next flight until about 4:10 in the afternoon in San Francisco and then luckily the flight from San Francisco back to Seattle was only about an hour and 45 minutes but I didn't land in Seattle until 6 30 at night Pacific time and then you know of course it's a two-hour drive home from Seattle to where I live so I didn't end up getting home until 8 30 Pacific time and by that time it was already like 11 a.m. on the next day in Japan so I had been awake for more than like 31 hours at that point and I was just so tired like I've never been that exhausted in my whole life but it was 100% worth it because this trip was just everything to me. Like this trip meant so much to me. It's only been like a day and a half, but I feel like I already missed Japan so freaking much. I knew that this trip was going to be awesome and I knew that it would mean a lot to me, but I had no idea the impact that this trip was gonna have on me as a person. It was just such a fun week. I made so many new friends. It was so cool to finally meet Gavin and Jesse in person, like these people on booktube that I've been friends with for years. And everyone in our group was just so lovely to talk to and just so much fun. I also realized I never really got to show you some of the souvenirs that I got. Like one of the things that I got was this little deer from one of the shop. It's like a little stuffed 
animal thing because I am obsessed with the deer from Nara. Like, they made my whole trip. I love them so much, and so I wanted to have this to remember them, and so I'm gonna be putting this on my bookshelf. I also did end up getting a bookmark that also has the deer on it because, again, I'm obsessed, and then I also got these uh, chopsticks from one of the stores, um, and these also have the little deers on the top of the chopsticks here, and these are so cute. Oh my god, I can't wait to use these. I also ended up getting this fan that I am just, uh obsessed with. Isn't it so beautiful? Really could have used this, honestly, while I was on the trip because of how hot it was, but oh my god, isn't this stunning? And then I did end up getting two shirts while I was there. The first one is this one. It's kind of simplistic, but it just says love Japan. And then I also ended up getting this shirt as well. Oh my god, isn't it just so beautiful with the gold? I also did end up bringing quite a bit of souvenirs for, you know, my sister and my parents and my friends because there were some really cute stuff. Like for my sister, I got her these like washi tapes and these like authentic like pens from Japan and just all kinds of stuff that I'm so excited about. But anyways, that's gonna be a wrap on the Japan vlog. Oh my god, I can't believe. I feel like this week in Japan was like one of the fastest weeks of my life and one of the longest weeks of my life like it feels like i was in japan for a freaking eternity but it was also like one of the quickest weeks of my life like i don't even know how to explain it, it feels like it just went by so fast i will cherish these memories for a lifetime i just can't believe how much fun i had in japan and i am just itching to go back like i want to go back so desperately thank you so much for watching this vlog if you made it all the way to the end thank you so much i really do appreciate you i really hope you enjoy this vlog and I would love to know if you've also been to Japan. I would love to hear about your experiences in Japan and which cities you visited. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye!